What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I actually just played through two games before this one, so I am going to make it a three game night. Uh, the first one was Left to Rot. The second one was the demo for Impetum. And this one is called Portrait of a Torn. I am very, very excited for this one. I don't know much about this one. Uh, like other games I played through, I don't really know much about them. If I do, uh, then it's just because I read about it on Steam, but this one I have no idea what it's about, but it has amazing artwork. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, wow. This is cool. What an opening, right? Oh, that's amazing. So I was kind of hoping that was actually leading us to this to eventually control. Oh my god. This game is wow. beautiful. It feels good to be back home after all this time. Hello? Is anyone home? No one at home plays the piano. Actually, I don't know why we even have one. Wow. My buddies from the regiment, my squad. I'm gonna miss them during these days of leave, but it sure feels good to be home. Oh, what? Nothing to say about your dog? Okay, so there's gotta be a light switch around here somewhere, right? No. But yeah, the lighting in this game is fantastic. The library. I love this room. Hopefully, I can dive into a couple of books while I'm on army leave. The mysterious door. Mom says it leads to the old parts of the house, but it's all in ruins. The door was sealed long ago. Dear Adele, allow me to express my deepest condolences for such a terrible loss. I am at your disposal for anything you may need. Enclosed with this letter is a recipe for a potent anxiolytic that will help you cope with such a terrible moment. Do not take more than one dose per day. Sincerely, Dr. Bernard Sleasing. This game Dr. has Bernard it all. has prescribed pills for mom. What's going on with her? Is she sick? It's got voice acting with uh, the reading. I mean, this... Oh, damn. This... This game starting off with a bang, let me tell you. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> Everything just looks so damn good. This is a lot of overdue bills. Why didn't mom tell me to send her money if she needed it? Because that's just what moms do. Mom isn't making dinner yet. Maybe we could order a pizza to celebrate my return? Man, I need a pizza. Ralph's toys in bed. When I have time, I want to teach him a lot of tricks. Ralph, where are you? Come here, boy. One of Ralph's toys. But where is he gone? Do we check? Well, let's check over here real quick wow neuromazin nervous system sedative it doesn't sound like mom has been very well while alone she's probably asleep in her room i better wait in mom and me i must have been about 10 years old here I was such a mischievous kid. A picture of dad. I miss him so much. Sounds like a very rough life. Has mom started smoking again? Since when? Okay, let's um 
go check out this other room before we go back. Or ch <laughs> Mom! Is she crying? I don't really know if that's her or not. My room is locked. Damn it. All this gives me a very bad feeling. I hope mom is okay. A newspaper from 40 years ago. Why are we keeping this? Murderous mad woman arrested. A bunch of stuff from the previous tenants of the house. This key looks like my room key. What is it doing here? This mirror is filthy. What's going on with mom? It's not like her to let things get this messy. Yeah, this is weird. Mom must be resting. I'd better leave her alone until she wakes up. Alright, I guess let's go to our room. I have a feeling on the way there, we're gonna have a couple surprises, or at least one. Maybe? But what has happened here? What has mom done to my room? It looks like she's using it to store junk. Is she mad at us for leaving? Mom and I did this when I was little. Esther, my dear... Friend? Girlfriend? I guess we're something a bit complicated. The old oven? Really? <laughs> well, I can't really do anything else in here. Unless I can just sit down. So I guess I just gotta go back outside. This is all very strange. I'm afraid that something has happened to mom. I'd better go and see how she's doing. Okay, so now we can go up here. And check on her. Mom, are you okay? Mom, what's wrong? I'm going to open the door. I don't get it. There's nobody here. What the hell? I think we're losing our mind for sure. Official dispatch. Command of the Brigade 3, Regiment 45, November 1952. Are we dead? To the family of Robert Kendall. It is with deep sorrow that we inform you of the combat death of your son, oh, shit. soldier Robert Candell, on 23rd at seven in the evening in Ground Zero. Robert fell heroically defending his position. His valor, his commitment, and his dedication to the cause of freedom will always be an example to all of us. He was an exemplary young man, full of life and ideals. 
who did not hesitate to risk everything to defend democracy and social justice. His death is an irreparable loss for our brigade, but his memory will live forever in our hearts. On behalf of the Army, we express our deepest condolences to the family for such a painful loss. We ask that you accept our heartfelt condolences and our deepest solidarity in these difficult times. Rest in peace. That's messed up. What kind of twisted joke is this? Who would write to my mother telling her that I'm dead? No, this can't be possible. Am I... am I dead? <sighs> oh my god. This is amazing. Look at this. I mean... What is happening? Is this... the trenches? Holy shit, man. Dude. <laughs> oh, wow. It's too late. He's dead. This is insane. Let's go check this out first. <clears throat> so much death. So much suffering. Why? What's the point? The tent couldn't withstand so much rain and mud. This letter looks like it was written by me. Dear Esther, I'm not sure if this letter will come as a surprise, but I hope you don't mind me writing to you. How are you? How's work at the shop going? I'm writing this from the trenches in the middle of the night. Our regiment has taken shelter here, and we are waiting until morning to advance. Tonight seems quiet. So many of my comrades have decided to write letters. Many of them filled with romantic thoughts and feelings. After much thought, I've decided to write to you. We've never talked about this, and I feel that if I don't do it now, I might never have the chance again. It's hard for me to say, and it might sound awkward. I wish you were here so I could tell you in person. To me, you've always been the girl who lived across the street. But I lost my chance that day on the train when we said goodbye. And you don't know how much I regret not having the courage to tell you then. How I really feel about you. Maybe when I get back home, we could... That sucks. That's so okay, sad. I was writing this letter when yeah, suddenly yeah. something happened. It looked like... There was kind of blood on it, like he just got hit by something. Jesus, man. I don't understand. Is there no one here? Am I the last one left here? Just think there's some unfinished business. There's someone there. Is that us? Are we watching ourselves like die? Or ourselves die?
Jeez. Is this how it happened? Is this how I died? Mom, she needs me. I've got to find her. <laughs> this game is something else. Shit. Candles. Roses. A photo of me. This is my funeral. I will never be able to see Esther again. Nor my mother. I will never be able to play with Ralph. I don't even know how to say goodbye. Fuck, man. Who... Who are you? Wow. <laughs> Dude, Wait, what? Don't go away. Are you sure? Because she, she doesn't look very friendly. Thanks for playing our demo. We hope you had an amazing time. I did. Thank you for creating this fantastic demo. It was very sad and dark, but beautiful at the same time. If you have any feedback or suggestions, we'd love to hear from you on the Steam forum. And don't forget to add the game to your wish list. I will not. I will do that as soon as I am done here. See you in the full game on October 24th. October 24th? Hell yes, that's not that far away, so... I'm there. I'm there. Awesome. All right. This game was a very, very beautiful demo. Really, really amazing stuff. Very sad. Like I said, very sad, but powerful. I don't know. That's just the word that comes to mind. Powerful. Because it's like this game was filled with so many emotions. And you put yourself in those shoes where you ask yourself, like, what would it be like to go through that? Like me personally, I've never gone through something like that tragic. Yes, I have dealt with loss when it comes to family members and people that I am have been close with, you know, and my family and stuff. Um, but anything involving war, like someone going and going to fight a war and just dying there and having to deal with that, you know, receiving a letter like that would be... I can't even put any words to that. I really can't because like I said, I haven't gone through that. So that'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. But yeah, they did a fantastic job with this demo. I have no complaints, honestly, because they said, hey, if you got any suggestions, you know, put them down or just, you know, post them on the, the forum on Steam. But I didn't see anything wrong with it. Everything felt smooth. Everything looked fantastic. So yeah, this game, this demo gets an A plus from me, an A plus plus. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And it helps out my channel so much. Uh, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, uh, please consider sticking around and subscribing. If you are already subscribed and you know someone who you think might enjoy my content, please feel free to uh, share my channel with them. I would really appreciate that as well. But yeah fantastic game. Fantastic. So I hope to see you all next time.